What's going on, everyone? This is David. Uh, I hope you're doing well. This is my first of 30 days of consecutive Facebook Live videos. I have no idea if anyone's watching. That's okay. Uh, I just want to share with you something that's awesome. I'm actually uh, right now at a uh, local Brazilian church in Orlando. I'm speaking here tonight with uh, my friend, Pastor Felipe. Uh, you say hi? Hey, guys. <laughs> So uh, I, we're right now just kind of sitting in the pastor's office and kind of taking it easy before the service. But I just want to share with you something really, um, I'll just share with you what happened today. I, I had to, again, I'm speaking here tonight. And so I woke up and took care of some stuff today and I was super exhausted, like just felt really, really tired. Um, I was out in the heat. So it was like, you know, Florida heat's like 127 degrees, exhausting, tired. And I just felt extremely worn out. And it was nothing that coffee could really help with. And I just remember coming home and I'm like, I just want to rest. And I thought, you know what, let me just rest in the Lord. And so what does that mean? Uh, I don't want to sound Christianese, but literally just means that I just sit and wait upon God. Just sit, not really uh, say a lot in prayer, but just say, God, I know you want to meet with me more than I could ever want to meet with you. I know that your presence, I know that you... Uh, as much as I want to be in your presence, you want me to encounter you. And so I just waited there. The, the Bible says, those who, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I believe it's Isaiah 23. It says, those whose minds are fixed on God will be in perfect peace. And so I just literally sat in my room and I just waited. I said, Lord, just uh, come in this place. And I just thank you. And I just invited his presence. And I just sat there, just waited. And I promise you, I kid you not, the presence of God just came in the room. I could just feel, even now I feel this. I just felt the weight of his glory, the weight of his presence. And it just literally, oh my goodness, it was just super peaceful. Uh, just amazing. Just, uh, I don't have words uh, to quite describe this, but uh, just just rested in his presence and it was so uh it, i thought it was only like 30 minutes it was actually it ended up being two hours and i wasn't trying to do for two hours i wasn't trying to be super spiritual i just wanted to just rest in him and his presence was so heavy but so refreshing and so good that uh both myself and my wife came in and she was knocked out in the presence too uh for two hours we were just just basking in his glory just resting in his presence and it was so good and so refreshing i feel super refreshed right now and i'm just ready to roll so i just want to encourage you uh you know if you can take some time today and i know we when we pray a lot it's just like let me talk to god let me say the things that i need let me give him a wish list and let me tell him all the stuff that i need him to do and uh, hopefully i can pull on the the jackpot and 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 win but you know i really believe more than more than getting an answered prayer, if you have his presence, you have everything you need. And I believe that the Bible is so true that um, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I believe that God wants us more than we could ever want him. We see that in the prodigal son where the prodigal is walking home and the father sees him and runs. It wasn't the son who ran. It wasn't the person with the needs that ran. It was the father who just said, I love my son so much that I need to wrap my arms of love around him. And I believe that's what happens when we wait on God. Um, there's a book called the, pra the Practicing the Presence of God. It's by Brother Lawrence, an old uh, French, I believe it was French, an old French uh, monk uh, who literally said how he would wait on God. And he just waited there because he knew it was in the nature of God's love to be with us. And he said while he waited on God, a lot of different thoughts in his mind would come. And he talked about uh, grabbing every thought captive that, that came against uh, really thinking of God. And so, uh, it, and that will happen when you wait on the Lord, you'll just feel like there's thoughts. Hey, you got to do this. Hey, you got to wash the dishes or you got to pay this bill or hey, you've got to work on this project. But, you know, do yourself a favor. Take that thought from your mind. Put it on the shelf. Like put it away. Say, you know what? Not that this is important, but right now there's something more important. And I am not going to say more than say, Jesus, I want you. You're welcome here. And you just wait on him. And I promise you, listen, do this. If you need to do this for like 14 days straight, get, get, do it like do 15 minutes a day and just wait on him. Just sit there and just set your mind on him. Set your thoughts towards him. Set your affections on him. And as you do that, it is in his nature. He is love. It's not just his nature to be loving. He is love. It's in his nature to just come in and invade the space between him and you and come in and touch your life. And so I think it will be super refreshing, super incredible, and super awesome. Um, anyway, I love you guys, and I hope that I encouraged someone out there. And, uh, yeah, if you have thoughts, uh, leave comments. I'd love to hear from you. God bless. Thanks.